Okay, here's a little preview shot of the body. It's got one coat of rust-oleum, some kind of puke color. <laughs> it's not quite yellow, it's not quite fluorescent green. And that's just the first coat. I'm going to put a second coat on it before I do the, the coat with the epoxy. On the front of the guitar, I'm not even touching because I'm going to decoupage a poster on the front and trim it out around the edge here and then apply a second stone coat countertop covering to seal it in and this is a Kramer guitar so take a wild guess at what the poster is going to be <laughs> Okay, so now I got a second coat on the back of the guitar body. Nicely covered. Not worried about the finished right yet. But had a little snag on the front side because I went to line up the poster and discovered that the edge came right across here and none of this had been painted. So I went ahead and painted the whole guitar and decided to, rather than use the entire poster, I just cut out the artwork that I want to be used, which is going to be applied back here and down here. And so the rest will be yellow with the uh, marbleized effect on there. And... We'll move on to the next stage. Okay, I did a light scuff with 220 grit sandpaper, wet sanded it, just to get a little tooth on it. I kind of went through the paint a little bit there, but no big because the poster should cover it. And I'm going to apply the poster with just plain old Elmer's glue. Let that dry, and then I'll be ready for the next stage. Okay, so here we're going to show you the poster cut out partially. Yes, that's right. Cosmo Kramer. Well, I figured since it's a Kramer, why not make it a Kramer, Kramer, right Kramer? Right. He is a loathsome, offensive brute, yet I can't look away. Found a few other little spots, so I hit it with some more sandpaper. And I have the poster laid out with just plain old Elmer's glue and I'm about to apply it to the guitar okay I got the poster laid out I'm gonna squeegee it down to get all the excess glue off with just a little damp sponge here and then I'm gonna squeegee it down a little bit more to make sure there's no air bubbles underneath and then after it's dry I'll trim it out with a exacto knife slight mishap it tore but it's right up there in his hairline so I can just cover it with some black magic marker and be alright it's a little rough but I think once the epoxy gets on it It'll be good. I still have to trim all this out. I'm going to let this thing sit up because this paper is very fragile as I found out. Oh well. Learn something new every day. Alright, the poster is glued down. I trimmed it out around the cavities. Had a little mishap on his forehead there, but I fixed it in his hair where it ripped. Used some uh, acrylic paint, and 
it's ready for the clear coat now. And I've also constructed a mask because I'm going to put clear over the entire body and hold this over top of the poster and spray this area with black spray paint and then alcohol to get the crackle effect. And I don't want the crackle effect to cover him up, so I will cover him up. Okay, I'm all set up out here. Got an impromptu on the barbecue. Uh, the uh, guitar body's ready to go. I got the mask for the spray paint ready to go. Got my squeegee. I've got 91% uh, alcohol mixed with some Dollar Tree glitter stuff that I found. And I put four grams of black glitter, four grams of dark silver glitter, and four grams of a pearl glitter in it. Also got the can of good old Wally World dollar a can spray paint. Got my blowtorch ready, covered in saran wrap to keep the uh, resin off of it. And here we go. Okay, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Squeegee. Squeegee it out. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to get everything coated. Real fast here. so I can get a good coating on that too. Okay, okay I went around with my fingers. I at least want to get half of it covered and it's looking amazing already the gloss is just spectacular okay next step is going to be the spray paint I'm gonna to have to put the phone down okay I got it sprayed I got it coated but the alcohol doesn't seem to be doing what it's supposed to just up here it's doing it there it goes, it's starting to crack. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. It's got a lot more glitter in it than I thought. But yeah, it's turning out kind of weird. Put some more alcohol on it. Yeah, it's starting to crack down here good. Alright, just let it do its thing out here for a little while. Oh, that looks bizarre. Yeah, it turned out wild. 
after this hardens up, I'll flip it and do the back side. So it's still, I'm gonna wait for this alcohol to dry and then I'm gonna hit it with a torch. Word to the wise, don't get your torch too close because this stuff will bubble and turn rock hard in a second. And that little spot right there is a burnt piece of resin. The rest came out kind of weird. Well, Kramer's nice and shiny. So, I'm kind of pleased with it. I mean, it's my own fault for throwing all that glitter in there. And, um, yeah. Well, there it is. Well, it's different. I ended up taking some pearl glitter and splink sprinkling over top of it, especially the part where I burnt the resin like an idiot. Um, well, anyway, I took a stick and I drug through it, gave it, tried to give it some veins, but it all filled back in really quick, except for down here. It's kind of, it's kind of got those veiny looks to it. And uh, overall, it's not too bad. I got enough resin left to do another coat to fill in this uh, giant blob of burn, which actually you can't really tell. You know, once it comes down to it, I sprinkled some uh, of the pearl powder over top of it, so that hid a lot of the burn mark. But as you can see, it's got it. It's got some divots. So when I clear coat it, just just clear again on after I do the back side, then hopefully that'll all disappear and I can sand out what's left and buffer out. But I'm pretty pleased and we'll just have to wait and see how good the, uh, this is one coat on here, people. Look at the shine. If this stone coat stuff works as predicted, I am going to be a lifelong buyer of this product because it is doing very very amazing things and it's very very smooth I could not have painted that with a paint gun and got that kind of gloss straight out of the grip like that so I'm very happy with the shine factor and Aside from my own mistakes, I'm very happy with the product overall. Go Stone Coat! A man-child crying out for love, an innocent orphan in the postmodern world. I see a parasite. Well, here we go again. <laughs> I've sanded a little burn bit. Still haven't cleaned it up, but sanded it. Haven't sanded this at all. I sanded off a lot of the drips that came around the other side, but I went through. But I don't think it's going to matter because it's all going to be covered anyway. But this is all sanded down pretty good. Ready for a second coat. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take some uh, packing tape. And I'm going to run the packing tape around the edge and just let it hang. So when I flip it over, if anything drips, it won't get onto old Cosmo's face there. And I went to the dollar store. I picked up some blue nail polish. I picked up some amazing looking gold. And some white. And what I think I'm going to do is when I recoat this with water, uh, clear, I'm going to run some white and blue and gold veins through this. Make it look more like marble. Because this just, the Vrebel effect just didn't work out. But I am going to do it again on this side. I'm going to put some clear in. Except this time, when I do the clear... I'm going to add some of this hologram glitter from the Dollar Tree store, which I did sprinkle on the top. That's what all the neat little sparklies are. 
it's sprinkled on there, but I'm going to actually just mix it in the clear resin, coat the whole back, spray paint it with black, do the alcohol thing, and hope for the best. And if it doesn't work out like the front didn't work out, then I'll just start dragging my sticks through it again to get this kind of effect, and then I'll jump on the nail polish to throw in there. Thanks to all the folks on the Facebook uh, group there that uh, suggested that I can use these, even though they'd be expensive. But guess what? One dollar. One dollar. And you guessed it. One dollar. Dollar Tree, Dollar General, you name it. They got them for a buck. Can't beat it. Okay, my resin's mixed up. I got the pearl glitter additive put in there. And here we go. Flakes look really good in there. Okay. Oh, the edge is good. Not a great puddle here, so I'm use it. not setting the thing on fire like I did yesterday.
dust in here. trying to get on the front of the guitar but it did it on the back which is perfect all right no i don't want to do that see i might need these transparent blue nail polish. I think I'm just going to pour some on here. Yeah. 
Okay. One thing I noticed about the nail polish is that it kind of hardened up real quick. It, uh, it didn't flow like a paint. The uh, lacquer must have reacted rather quickly. Now I'm just going to dust a little more of this hologram powder because I like it. Just a little bit on there, just to give it some sparklies. It's pretty sick. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Now what I can see of where the blue from the nail polish is dull, but the, the epoxy coat's very clear. The gold's also really dull. The nail polish must have had a reaction to it. But it's a beautiful effect. Here's a little vid of it, close up. The sparkles are wicked. That big deposit of gold right there. Yeah, I kind of like the look, but I don't really think that the uh, nail polish was the best thing. I mean, it come out alright. It's cool looking. It's weird. But it's definitely, it didn't act right. It just sort of, could have been the alcohol that was sitting up on there when I did the paint. But it just sort of turned into a skin, like a pudding skin that I was dragging around when I was trying to pull stick through it to get it to make some veins it just didn't work out next time I'll use paint all right all right 220 wet sanded the entire body and then I went back over it with the nail polish just to add some more veins and I'm gonna let that dry I'm going to tape the edge again, and then I'm going to pour one big clear flood coat over all this. Okay, everything is done. Got the perimeter taped off, got the tremolo hole taped off. My resin is mixed, ready to pour. So, here we go. Last flood coat for the back side of the Kramer.
covered. And that's a satisfied mo from the Three Stooges. There we are. You know, cooking the eggs and everything in the drawer. There, there we are. Okay. Torch. Yeah, put that second coat of white in there. Boy, it's really standing out on top. Looks great. Alright, that should do it for the bubbles. Yeah. Just gonna let it drip and drip and drip. Okay guys, flood coat's done. And just look at that shine. That is sick. Not only will I be able to rock out on this guitar, I'll also be able to use it as a mirror to shave with. This is unbelievable. Had a little issue with a fisheye kind of situation right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. But the tremolo cover is going to cover it, so I'm not sweating it. The finish is just amazing. This thing is sick. The depth in it is crazy. The gloss is phenomenal. When I get this thing put together, it'll definitely look really cool. Alright, I've got my guitar ready for the final flood coat. I have it taped off in the uh, tremolo hole around the perimeter. The only problem is when I did the back side, I added gold white and blue and a little bit of hologram powder so what I'm going to do instead of contaminating my uh, my coat of clear I'm going to apply this stuff first I'm just going to make a few little veiny things here
my uh, epoxy is mixed. Nice and white and milky. I'll start putting it on. I'm going to use my stick so I can manipulate this stuff here before it dries. Maybe too late. Since this is just a thin coat, I'm just going to spread it around with my hands to be covered. Spread it all out. That's nice. Good. Make sure to get all there. Yeah. 
that's it. Got a little bit of flake on his face, but that's okay. That looks cool. looks great. I'm going to hit it one more time with a torch just to smooth her out. Yeah, it's just messing with it. That's it. Here's a little preview. Morning after the epoxy coat was put on. I'm sorry about my shadow. She's definitely got a gloss. Lots of sparkle. I've got a couple of little divots, but I can sand them out and drip a little bit of resin into the uh, divot there and sand it flush, polish her out. So there's a little preview and boy he is shiny. Little mock-up of the guitar before I actually assemble it. Crazy gloss. I think I'm going to go with the green pit guard as opposed to the clear one. It'll just look better. Kramer. Out of the back. And there it is. After I get her assembled polished up. I'll do a separate video with the guitar actually being played. So this is the stone coat countertop quick coat that I used to cover the guitar with and that's approximately how much I have left over. I did two coats on the front, two coats on the back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wait about 30 days and let the stuff cure before I sand it out and buff it and I'm also ordering new electronics pickups and screws and things for it and I'm just going to revamp the whole guitar so I'm going to end the video here but I will post a video of the completed unit being played through an amp when I get everything together and done and i just wanted to say thanks for watching and thanks to the stone coat countertop people for making a great product i will be buying much much more of this stuff because it is awesome all right guys in video land peace of the eyes he's a creature barely hanging on to existence like a cockroach clinging to a sewer grate man's struggle he lifts my spirit.
He is a loathsome, offensive brute. Yet I can't look away. He transcends time and space. He sickens me. <laughs> I love it. Me too. <laughs>